Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Happy Monday. With my Good phone. Good evening, teacher. Sorry? With my phone. Ah, you're on your phone. Okay. Get it. All right. We're going to begin. Um, if you just give me one second, I have to get something ready. Um, yes. Let me see. Okay. And I'm going to share the screen with you now. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> so everybody, welcome once again. This is Inglés Principiante Modulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session 13, and today is July the 10th of 2023. So um, let's do this. Okay, just, uh, ah, first I'm going to call attendance. That's very important. Attendance list. So I'm calling your names. So when you hear your name, let me know. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias. Okay. I am here. Okay, welcome. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Present. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Welcome. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. David Antonio Rosales teacher? García. Okay, welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Evert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Evert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Okay, welcome. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Welcome. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good evening. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher present. Good evening, welcome. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. 
Oscar Susana Castellano. Present, sir. Welcome. Uh, Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Present, sir. Welcome. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Aquí está Valle, teacher. No puede entrar, tiene problemas con, el, con la señal, con el Inter, pero en eso está ahorita. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Hello. Present. Welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas good Arias. Good evening. Hello, Saúl. Uh, Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Tenemos por acá el chat. Nos dice Carlos Edgardo Cruz, que ya está por acá. Nos dice Juan Carlos Portillo Arias, también que ya está por acá. Ok, y Baudilio tiene la mano levantada, así que ya está por acá también. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Juan Carlos, ya está su asistencia. Gracias. Cecia Gemima. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Estoy conectando ahorita, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Present, teacher. Uh, Karen Yulisa, thank you. Welcome. Present. Welcome. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Baudilio. Dígame, tiene la manita levantada. O le quedó levantada. Ok. Tomamos asistencia nuevamente al finalizar la clase, entonces. De nuevo, everybody welcome. This is session 13 and today is July the 10th of 2023. Let's begin. First, there's a snapshot, okay? We start section five today. So take a look. Where were these people born? I want you to tell me where these people were born. You have Issei Mikaye, who's a designer, Shakira, who's a singer, Cho Young Fat, who's an actor, Salma Hayek, who's an actress, and Ronaldo, who's an athlete. Okay, so, well, we have the first one. Where is Issei Mikaye from? Who knows this? Issei Mikaye, is he from Brazil, from China, from Colombia, from Japan, or from Mexico? Hola, damas y caballeros, estamos presentes, estamos poniendo atención. Sí, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Cecia. Okay, welcome. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the first person, Issei Mikaye, where is he from? Is he from Brazil? Is he from China? From Colombia? Japan? Or Mexico? What do you think? Any ideas? Okay, that's the case. I'm going to play the track. Everybody, let's listen. One. Issei Miyake, designer. Sorry. Wrong playback de uh, device. Let me fix that. This is the one. Okay. All right, let's listen. One, Issei Miyake, designer. Two, Shakira, singer. Three, Chow Yun Fat. Actor. Four. Salma Hayek. Actress. Five. 
Ronaldo, athlete. A. Brazil. B. China. C. Colombia. D. Japan. E. Mexico. All right. Um, one more time. Issei Miyake, where is he from? Is he from Brazil? Is he from China? Is he from Colombia? Is he from Japan? Or is he from Mexico? What do you think? Carlos Alberto. The number one is the letter D, Japan. Japan, that is correct. Okay, thank you, Carlos Alberto. What about number two, Shakira? Where is Shakira from? Acá nos dice Wilber que ya está acá. Bienvenido. María Magdalena, where is Shakira from? Colombia. She's from Colombia. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Um, Cecia, what about Chong Young Fat? Where is he from? She is from China. He is from China. That's right. He's he from, from China. China. Correct. Thank you very much. What about Salma Hayek, Maria de Lourdes? Where is she from? She's from... Mexico. She's from Mexico. That is correct. Thank you very much. And what about Ronaldo, who's an athlete, soccer player? So where is he from? The last one. Maria Magdalena. She's from Brazil. She or he? He is from Brazil, right? He, he is from Brazil, so that's right. So again, you have Issei Mikaye from Japan, Shakira from Colombia, Cho Young Fat from China, Salma Hayek from Mexico, and Ronaldo is from Brazil. So you have that. Okay, so um, what about this question? Take a look at the question at the bottom. What famous people were born in your country? What famous people are from El Salvador? Famous internationally. What famous people are from El Salvador? Wilber. Alvaro Torres. Alvaro Torres, who is a singer, okay, like Shakira. Okay, that's right. So Alvaro Torres, a singer, is from El Salvador. Cecia Gemima. Ah, uh, ya se me olvidó. El presidente Nayib Bukele. Okay, the president is a famous person internationally. Okay, good. We don't have presidents in the list, but yeah, okay, the president is, is famous internationally. Arles Ernesto? Arles, your microphone. Magico Gonzalez. Jorge Magico Gonzalez. Yes, that's a person who's famous internationally, an athlete in this case, a soccer player. Okay, very good, very good. Anybody else? Alguien más? No one else, we only have two people. <laughs> Three people, the president, Alvaro, Alvaro, right? And Jorge Magico. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, let's continue. There's a conversation, I was born in South Korea. Okay, everybody, listen to this, and then uh, I will need volunteers to help me read this. In the chat, Jose Valentin dice presente también. Bienvenido. Let's listen. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No. I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. So I need uh, two volunteers, one one man and one lady, to read the conversation between Chuck and Melissa. Who can help me? Two volunteers, please. Mm -hmm. Let's practice the pronunciation. 
Wilber, thank you. You will help me read the part of Chuck. And uh, now a lady, please, to help me read the part of Melissa. Nobody? Come on, ladies. One lady. Hay una chica que nos ayuda a leer la parte de Melissa, por favor. Bueno, Wilber, nadie le quiere acompañar, mire. Aaron Sol. <laughs> Algo okay. pasa ahí, piche. Algo pasa. Ok, María de Lourdes, thank you very much. Ok, let's begin. Uh, Wilber, you begin. Where were you wrong, Melissa? I was wrong in South Korea. Okay, before oh, we continue, so you... before we continue, it's where were you born? Where mm -hmm. were you born? <laughs> uh, Melissa, and Melissa says, I was born in South yeah. Korea. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> oh, so you were, weren't wrong is the, you say? It's not wrong, it's born. Born. Ah, uh -huh, born. Boring. No, oh. I can no, I can hear e ninety in nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen. Mm, you were pretty you young. Pretty young. Pretty young. Yes, yes I was only seventeen. Mm -hmm. Did you go to college? Ring away? College right away. No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for uh, two years first. First, okay. Well, your English is really good now. Then, thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah. But I was wrong. Born. Born her. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, thank you, uh, Wilber and, and Maria Magdalena. Okay, so, uh, or Maria Lourdes, I don't, who was reading, I'm sorry? <laughs> Maria Lourdes, creo que había sido. Okay, so uh, Chuck and Melissa. Chuck says, where were you born, Melissa? First, we need to learn this. Take a look. Be born. Okay? This in Spanish will be something like nacer. Ahora, ¿qué tiene que ver el verb be con esto, con el verbo nacer? Lo que pasa es que en inglés... Nacer, el verbo nacer, solo puede ser expresado de una manera. Existen dos tipos de voces en inglés. Está la voz activa y la voz pasiva. Este es un tema gramatical eh, considerablemente complejo para el nivel que estamos llevando en este momento. Pero es algo que vale la pena mencionar. En inglés solamente se puede expresar este verbo de forma pasiva no de forma activa. En español se expresa de forma activa, pero en inglés únicamente de forma pasiva. Y en la voz pasiva en inglés siempre lleva el verb be. Siempre. Pero de nuevo, ese es un tema para otra ocasión, para un nivel más avanzado. Entonces, cuando usted utiliza be born, está refiriéndose a nacer. Y aquí puede utilizarlo en pasado. Siempre se ocupa en pasado y nunca en presente. Usted dice I was, porque was es el pasado del verb be. I was born. En, y usted dice el lugar donde nació, o bien, usted puede decir también la fecha o el año en que nació. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I was born in San Salvador. I was born in 1985. Ok. O oh, todo de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Para no ser tan repetitivo. In 1985. I was born in San Salvador in 1985. ¿Cómo se leen los, 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 eh, los años? Bueno, 
por lo general se leen, como ya hemos visto, nivel 1. Vemos primero, el, los primeros dos dígitos se leen separado de los siguientes dos. Así yo digo, 1985. ¿Ok? En el caso de Pelisa dice... Teacher, I am here. Listen to class. Hi, who's, who am I talking to? ¿Quién, ¿Quién me avisa que ya llegó? Hola. Arias Valle. Ah, ok. Arias Valle. Vamos. Santos Mauricio. Ok. Thank I you. am here present. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Um, ¿Quién? Hace un momento alguien me dijo que, que acababa de llegar, pero ¿quién, quién fue? Me dijeron Arias Valle, Saúl Ernesto. Perdón. Ah, aquí está ya, Saúl Ernesto. Ya está Saúl Ernesto, perdón. Santo Mauricio ya está acá. Pero no me aparece en la lista. Ok. Van a disculpar ahí. Alguien me dijo que ya había llegado, pero no supe quién es. Siempre por eso es importante levantar la mano, porque si no yo solo escucho una voz y me quedo quién me está hablando. Y a veces no siempre es visible en la pantalla quién está quién está hablando, entonces ahí me pierdo yo así que siempre acuérdense, levantemos la manita y entonces ahí ya veo yo quién, quién quiere dirigirse al grupo ok, vamos uh, Melissa dice no, I came here in 1999 aquí podemos ver lo que les estoy diciendo decimos 1999 se leen los primeros dos dígitos separadamente 19 y luego los últimos dos 99 ok, veamos, quién me dice Aquí está el ejemplo mío. I was born in San Salvador in 1985. ¿Y ustedes? ¿Quién me puede decir dónde y cuándo nacieron? ¿En qué ciudad? ¿Y en qué año? María Magdalena. I was born in La Unión... In, in night, nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty. No. no. Uh, nineteen seven five. Nineteen seventy five. Nineteen seventy five. Okay, all right. So I was born in La Union in 1975. Okay, thank you, yeah, Maria Magdalena. Yeah, okay, thank you, Maria Lourdes. I did call the el teléfono por si no me escucha. Ah, sí, sí, así vi que como que va en un vehículo ahorita. Okay. Una misión. Uh, una misión, okay. Maria de Lourdes. I was born in San Salvador in 1979. Was born in San Salvador in 1979. Okay, okay. Thank you, Cecia. I was born in Santa Ana in 1978. I was born in Santa Ana in 1978. Okay, sounds good. Great. David Antonio. David Antonio. I was born. I was born in La Paz, 1975. I was born in La Paz in 1975. Okay, thank you. Arles Ernesto. Arles Ernesto. I'm sorry. I was okay. born in Chalatenango in 1972. 1972. Okay. Yeah. I was born in Chalatenango in 1972. Okay, good. All right. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Ever. 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 Vamos a ver cómo me escuchan bien, profe. Eh, sí. I, I was born in Concepción de Ataco en me hace ahí por ahí me, me, me cuesta un poco el 
el mil, ajá, ese, ese. 19? 1980. 1980. Ok, I was born in Concepción de Ataco in 1980. Ok. Yes. Good. Sounds good. All right. Great. Uh, anybody else? Ok, por aquí nos dicen que están experimentando dificultades técnicas. Híjole. Bueno. All right. Uh, let's continue. Entonces dice Chuck, where were you born? Esa sería la forma de pregunta. Where were you born? ¿Dónde naciste, Melissa? Where were you born, Melissa? And Melissa says, I was born in South Korea. Chuck says, oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No naciste en Estados Unidos. Ok, aquí me va a decir usted, teacher, pero ¿por qué no dice didn't? Por lo que les explicaba al principio, que el verbo nacer es un verbo especial en inglés porque solamente se puede ocupar por un tipo de voz, se le conoce así en inglés, que es la voz pasiva. Por eso no lleva el didn't. Pero de nuevo, ese es un tema para otra ocasión. Solo se los aclaro por si ustedes se confunden ahí un poquito. Dice, ¿por qué? No lleva el didn't. Que dijimos que el didn't era para los verbos en negativo en pasado. Entonces, you weren't born in the U.S. Melissa says, no, I came here in 1999. Vine acá en 1999. Chuck says, hmm, you were pretty young. Estaba bastante joven. Melissa says, yes, I was only 17. Solo tenía 17 años. Chuck says, did you go? Aquí sí se ve lo que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Did you go to college right away? Fuiste a la universidad de inmediato, es decir, al nomás llegar a Estados Unidos y fue a la universidad. Did you go to college right away? That's the meaning of right away, immediately, de inmediato. Melissa says, no, my English wasn't very good. Mi inglés no era muy bueno. So I took English classes for two years first. Tomé clases de inglés. Primero tomé clases de inglés por dos años. Chuck says, well, your English is really good now. Ahora está súper bueno, súper bien. And Melissa says, thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Tu inglés también es bastante bueno. And Chuck says, yeah, but I was born here. Right? Sí, pero yo aquí nací. So that's the conversation. Aquí hay problemas de conexión, nos dicen. Híjole. Eh, aprovecho acá, Erika Beatriz. Creo que ya está conectada. Ya está conectada. Ponemos acá asistencia. Franklin de la O. Franklin de la O creo que no se ha podido conectar aún. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Erika. Iván Alexis. Iván Alexis. Todavía no ha podido conectarse. José Amilcar. José Amilcar. No está. Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Juan Francisco no nos acompaña aún. Mónica Ivet. Tiene problema, problemas de conexión. Ajá, ok. Sí, pero lo único que no les puedo poner eh, asistencia si no logran conectarse. Eso es, o sea, tienen que conectarse aunque sea un momentito para yo poderles poner asistencia. De lo contrario, no se puede. Um, Santos Mauricio no aparece por acá. Ok, por el chat. José Amilcar Reyes dice, ya está por acá con dificultad de conexión. José Amilcar Reyes, ok, aquí estamos. Ok, bienvenido. All right, so take a look. Lesson objective, by the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements. Uh, with the past of the verb be. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado con el verbo ser. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Just this conversation, we don't need to repeat it. So, grammar focus. Take a look at this, everybody. Statements with the past of the verb be. You can say, I was born in South Korea. Okay, you were pretty young. She was 17. 
we were born in the same year. They were in South Korea in 1998. So what do you need to know? Take a look. You, for the subjects, I, he, she, and it, you are going to use the form was, okay? That's the past of the verb be. Ese es el pasado del verb be. Así que cuando usted dice, I was, era, yo era, o yo estaba. O yo fui, o yo estuve, también. For the subjects, you, sorry, here. For the subjects, you, we, and they, you're going to use where. That's the form. Okay? Este es el pasado del verb be. Para los sujetos, I, he, she, and it, van a utilizar la forma was. Es diferente al pasado de los otros verbos. El verb be es distinto a los demás verbos porque no lleva did en las preguntas ni lleva didn't en las oraciones negativas. Así que mucho cuidado con eso. Nunca ocupen el auxiliar did o didn't, ¿verdad?, con el pasado del verb be. El pasado del verb be tiene su propia forma en negativo y su propia forma en pregunta. For the subjects you, we, and they, you're going to use where. Where, where. The negative form of was is wasn't. Okay? That's the negative form. Ese es el negativo de was. Wasn't. And the negative form of where is weren't. Esa es la forma negativa de where. No la vayan a poner nunca el didn't. No va. Por eso se estudian por separado, ¿verdad? Primero vimos el past simple de los demás verbos y ahora vemos el past simple del verb be. Nada más. Es diferente. Así que cuidado ahí con eso, ¿verdad? Franklin de la O presente. Hoy sí. Aquí está. Francisco, Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Ya está por acá. Bien. Gracias, gracias. Comentan que la conexión a internet está mala en este momento. Bueno, Súper mal, ¿verdad? Que existan esos problemas técnicos. Pero bueno, lo importante es que hayan logrado conectarse. Así que muchas gracias por notificar. So, look, I was born in South Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were, uh, they were in South Korea in 1998. The negative form is, I wasn't born in the U.S. Yo no nací en Estados Unidos. You weren't very old. Dice, no eras muy mayor, ¿verdad? Muy, muy viejo. She wasn't in college. No estaba en la universidad. We weren't born in the same country. Nosotros, ¿verdad? No nacimos en el mismo país. And they weren't in the U.S. in 1998. ¿verdad? No estaban en Estados Unidos en el 98. Now, the contracted forms are wasn't for was not and weren't for were not. But as you know, this is like very short information, very little information. So there's the extra information for you que le voy a compartir ahorita por WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Como de costumbre, para que les quede ya ahí, ustedes puedan estudiarlo posteriormente. Principiante 3, aquí estamos. Okay, so everybody, take a look. This is was and where. Last night, you see this man. And now you see the man right here. So Robert is at work now. Okay. But at midnight last night, he wasn't at work. Why is that? Because he was in bed. He was asleep. Okay. Estaba en su cama. Estaba dormido. So that's the past of the verb be. Ustedes saben que el verb be es el verbo ser o estar. Entonces, was and where es el pasado de ser o estar. Dice, he was in bed, estaba en la cama. He was asleep, estaba dormido. Right? This is him. Oh, sorry. This is him last night. So, remember, for the present, you use am and is. That's the verb be. In the past form, you use was. For example, you say, I am tired. Now. Where is Kate? Now. The weather is nice today. But if you use it in past, you say, I was tired last night. Anoche. 
Anoche estaba cansado. Where was Kate yesterday? Ayer. ¿Dónde estaba Kate ayer? ¿Qué se hizo? So, the weather was nice last week. El clima o el, las condiciones del tiempo estuvieron, ¿verdad? Agradables la semana pasada. The weather was nice last week. So, remember, when the, the verb is am or is in present, you have to use was. Es lo que les comentaba hace un momento. For the subjects I, he, she, and it, you use was. Or the negative form wasn't. Okay. Now, for the verb be in present, when the form is are, you have to use where. That's the past. Examples. You are late now. You, they aren't here. Ellos no están aquí. They aren't here now. But in past, you say, you were late yesterday. Ayer te retrasaste. Okay. You were late yesterday. They weren't here last Sunday. Ellos no estuvieron o no estaban aquí el domingo pasado. So remember that. Was and where. That's the verb be in past. Now, what's the affirmative form? Take a look. For the affirmative form, if the subject is I, he, she, and it, you use was. For the subjects we, you, and they, you use where. Lo mismo que les expliqué hace un momento. And uh, what about the negative form? If the subject is I, he, she, or it, you use wasn't, which is the form of was not, okay? For the subjects, we, you, and they, you have to use were not or the contracted form weren't. And you have some examples. Aquí hay unos ejemplos. Last year, Rachel was 22, so she is 23 now. El año pasado, Rachel tenía 22 y hoy tiene 23. Algo que tenemos que recordar, ya lo hemos mencionado con anterioridad, es que para mencionar la edad, a diferencia del español, no se ocupa el verbo tener. En español uno dice, tengo tantos años. Yo puedo decir, tengo 37 años. Pero en inglés hay que utilizar el verb be. Es decir, usted dice, yo soy 37 años. Literalmente esa es la traducción. Por supuesto, en inglés suena lógico, en español no nos suena lógico porque ocupamos un verbo diferente. Entonces decimos, uh, I am 37. Last year, el año pasado, I was 36. ¿Ok? Ocupo el verb be para referirme a la edad. Si hablo de mi edad en el presente, ocupo el verb be en el presente. I am 37 years old. Pero si ocupo, si, si quiero hablar de mi edad en el pasado, entonces ocupo el verb be, pero en pasado. Last year, I was 36. ¿Ok? Así que tenemos, last year, Rachel was 22, so she is 23 now. When I was a child, cuando yo era un niño, I was scared of dogs. Le tenía miedo a los perros. Otro, otro, um, scared es un adjetivo participio. Estos por lo general se utilizan con el verb be también. I was scared of dogs. Cuando usted dice, I am scared of something, quiere decir que usted le teme a algo. Entonces, when I was a child, I was scared of dogs. Cuando yo era niño, le temía a los perros. Next example, we were hungry after the trip, but we weren't tired. Estábamos hambrientos después del viaje, pero no estábamos cansados, okay? We were hungry after the trip, but we weren't tired. And finally, the hotel was comfortable, but it wasn't expensive. El hotel era cómodo, ¿verdad? Pero no era caro. Buen hotel. So the hotel was comfortable, but it wasn't expensive. So that's the past of the verb be. I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp now. Aquí se los mando por WhatsApp para que les quede y lo estudie. Extra information. Before we continue, uh, do you have any questions about this? Tienen alguna pregunta, duda? Una consulta? Antes de proceder a los ejercicios? Questions? No questions? Okay, then we continue. Exercise time. Now, where were these people at three yesterday afternoon? Where were they? Ahora, cuidado. La pregunta no es qué estaban haciendo. 
La pregunta es, ¿dónde estaban? So, where were these people at three yesterday afternoon? I'm going to give you the, give you the first one as an example. Dan. Dan was in bed. What about number two? Acuérdense, no es do, qué estaban haciendo, más bien, dónde estaban. So, just use the verb be. What about Jack and Kate? Where were Jack and Kate? If you know the answer, raise your hand, please. Wilber Rafael. Oh, I'm going about the chair. Uh, Jack and Kate is um, uh, was in looking movie. Okay. When I seen it. Okay, let's take a look. When you say Jack and Kate, you're talking about two people. So when you say Jack and Kate, that means they. It's were. Uh -huh. Ah, so can you repeat it? Jack and Kate? Jack and Kate were mm -hmm. um, look the movie. Ajá, cuidado. Pero cuando me dice look, ya me está ocupando otro verbo. La pregunta es, ¿dónde estaban? Solamente el lugar. Decimos, Jack and Kate were, vamos a ver acá, at in the this movie. Or at the cinema, you can say also. Jack and Kate were at the movies. Jack y Kate estaban en el cine. You say that. Thank you, Wilbert. Okay, uh, number three. Where was Sue? Cecia Gemima. Sue was in train station. Sue was at the train station. Okay, you at can the say train that. station. Sue was at the train station. That's correct. Thank you, Cecia. Very good. All right. Uh, number four, Mr. and Mrs. Hall. Where were Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Hall? At three, yesterday afternoon. Raise your hand, please, if you know the answer. Maria de Lourdes. Mr. and Mrs. Hall were in the restaurant. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Hall were uh, in a restaurant. Okay, good. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Hall were in a restaurant. Estaba en un restaurante. Good. Nice. Thank you very much. And what about Ben? Where was Ben? Where was Ben? If you know, raise your hand. Enrique. Okay. Number five. Number yes. five. Yes. Uh, ben was in the beach. Ben was at the beach. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Ben was at the beach. Great. Yeah. And the last one. And you? By ayer fue domingo. No me van a decir que estaban. Bueno, más de alguno tal vez le tocó trabajar. No sé, verdad. Pero me imagino que varios descansaron también. Así que, ¿qué hay de ustedes? ¿Dónde estaban a las tres de la tarde ayer? No, ¿qué estaban haciendo? ¿Dónde estaban? Esa es la pregunta. So, and you? Cecia. I was in bed. You were in bed. Okay. Okay, nice. Wilber and then Maria Magdalena. I was in my house. I was in my house. Okay, good. Maria Magdalena. I was in the church. I was... Uh, at church, you can say. In English, at I church. was at church. Okay, good. I was David, thank you. David Antonio? I was working. I was working. Okay, so um, aquí puede, lo que pasa es que si, si usted me dice, I was working. Si me dice, I was working, entonces me está diciendo lo que estaba haciendo. No exactamente dónde estaba. Si me quiere decir dónde estaba, sería, I was at work. Estaba en el trabajo, más bien. 
I was at work. No es que esto esté mal gramaticalmente. Okay, I was at work. I was at work. Uh -huh. Ahora, esto no está mal gramaticalmente. Está correcto. Solamente que no contesta precisamente la pregunta, ¿verdad? Es otro tipo de información. So, I was at work. Ok, good. One more person. Uno más. Where were you at three yesterday afternoon? Ayer domingo a las tres, ¿dónde estaba? No one else wants to participate. Okay, then. Okay, well, that's the case. We continue. Now, we have the second exercise. You have write am, is, or are for the present or was, where in the past. Now, be careful here because you have to use the present of the verb be and the past of the verb be. Si estamos hablando del presente, ocupen am, is, or are. Si estamos hablando del pasado, entonces ahí utilizan was and where. So, what about number one? If you know, please raise your hand and participate. Cecia. Last year, she was 22. So, she is 23. Now. Correct. Last year she was 22, so she is 23 now. That is correct. Thank you, Cecia. Very good. Number two. What about number two? Vamos, sin miedo. Maria Lourdes and then Enrique Perez. Today the weather is nice, but yesterday it was very cool. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, today the weather is nice, but yesterday it was very cold. Thank you very much. Enrique, number three. I am hungry. Can I have something to eat? Correct. I am hungry. Tengo hambre. I am hungry. Can I have something to eat? Okay. Thank you, Enrique. Number four, volunteers, please. A fácil el tema, no? Okay, number four. Vamos, siempre insisto. Hay algunos que nunca los escucho, solo cuando me dicen present teacher. ¿verdad? O cuando me dicen good night, y es cuando vamos. ¿verdad? De ahí no los escucho toda la clase. Tratemos de participar. Cecia, number four. Number four, I feel fine this morning, but I was very tired last night. That is correct. I feel fine this morning, but I was very tired last night. Thank you, Cecia. Correct. Number five. Number five. Who can answer number five? Come on. Volunteers. Enrique, and then we'll five. Yes. My, my, my key. My uh, keys. My, pardon. My keys. Uh, where, where? Where? Where here in the morning? Where are they now? Yes, my keys were here this morning. Where are they now? Okay, mis llaves estaban aquí en la mañana y ahora dónde están? Where are they now? <laughs> Thank you, Enrique. Las <laughs> perdió. Thank you, Enrique. That is correct. So my keys were here this morning. Where are they now? Wilbert, number six. Ahí se me adelantó con la número cinco. Esta de seis está difícil, pero bueno, ahí le vamos. Don't buy those shoes. They was very ex expensive. Expensive. Son muy, muy caros, Luis. Don't buy those shoes. No compres esos zapatos. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la forma del verb be? They were. They were. Mm. Sí. Pero no los ha comprado. Wearing. Pero todavía no los ha comprado. Por eso le dice, mira, no los compres. ¿Ah? Don't buy those shoes. No, pues. No idea. 
No problem. No problem. They but... are very expensive. Eh, ¿Quién nos dijo por ahí? Siempre levantemos la mano, si no me pierdo. Sorry, okay. teacher, es que como voy en el vehículo. Ah, Sorry. ok, ok. Uh, María Magdalena, can you repeat, please? They are very expensive. They are very expensive. Uh -huh. Don't buy those shoes. They are very expensive. Dice, no compre esos zapatos. Están muy caros. Dice. Están muy caros. Todavía no los ha comprado. Por lo tanto, lo ocupamos en presente. So they are very expensive. Thank you, uh, María. Number seven. Okay. María de Lourdes. I like your new jacket. I like your new jacket. Thanks. It was on sale. It was on sale. Estaba en oferta, Liz. It was on sale. Okay, good. Hoy sí, ya la compró. Se puede hablar en pasado. It was on sale. Thank you very much, uh, Maria Lourdes. Uh, number eight, a volunteer, please. Cecia. This time last year, I was in Paris. This time last year, I was in Paris. That is correct. Very good. Because it says, this time last year, I was in Paris. That's a pass. Very good. And number nine. Esta tiene dos. <laughs> number nine. It's a conversation. So, volunteer. Enrique. Por lo menos la primera parte, Tiché. Don okay. Bernay. Don Bernay. Eh... Where are some where, and where, 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 ¿Cómo dice, Tiché? Where, where, Sam and Joe. Joe. Where were Sam and Joe, but is it the past or the present? Eh... Present teacher. Ajá. So, what Don't is the stand. form? ¿Dónde están? ¿Cómo nos queda entonces? Eh, where, where, where. Si me dice no. where, where, entonces es el pasado, no el presente. <laughs> where are. Where are Sam and Joe. Ajá. Where, where, where are Sam and Joe. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you, Enrique. No. I don't know. Ajá. They were. Here a few minutes ago. They were here a few minutes ago. Estaban aquí hace unos minutos. Okay. Yeah. They were here a few minutes ago. Okay. Very good. Very good. There is another exercise that we have to do now. Now, you have to give me or tell me was, where, or wasn't, wearing. Todo en pasado, pero ahora vamos a jugar entre afirmativo y negativo. Pero todo en pasado. No hay presente acá. So, your options are was, where, affirmative, wasn't, weren't, negative. Okay, so number one. Number one. Cecia. We weren't happy. With the hotel, our room was very small, and it wasn't clean. Correct. Very good. We weren't happy, okay, with the hotel. The room was very small, and it wasn't clean, okay? The cuarto era muy chiquito y no estaba limpio. Okay, nice. Thank you, Cecia. That is correct. What about number two? Number two. Maria de Lourdes and then Maria Magdalena. Nick wasn't at work last week because he was sick. He's better now. Correct. Thank you, Maria. Um, Nick wasn't at work last week because he was sick. He's better now. Okay, good. All right, so the next one, the other Maria. Hola, manita. Number three. 
yesterday was no. a holiday. So the banks was closed. Banks, plural. Huh? Banks? Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. So the banks were close. Casi no miro. Days open today. They're open today. Yeah, thank you. Yesterday was a was a holiday. Fue preferiado, dice verdad. Yesterday was a holiday, so the banks were closed. They're open today. Hoy ya están abiertos. Thank you. That is correct. Thank you very much. Number four is a conversation. Jose Benjamin. Micrófono. Jose Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Eh, sí, tío. perdón, perdón, me había perdido. No problem. So, number four. Oh, right. Wax, where Kay and Bill on the party. Kay Wax, Kate? the booth. Bill Watson. Okay, uh, Kate. Kate Wax. Kate was there, but Bill. Kate okay, was there, but, but Bill wasn't. Yes, were Kate and Bill at the party? Estuvieron o estaban Kate y Bill en la fiesta. Dice so Kate was, but Bill wasn't. So Kate sí estaba, pero Bill no. Les. Correct. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jose. Number five. Number five. Maria Magdalena. Okay. Voy a bajar la manita, profe, que no me deja ver. Bueno. Dice, where are my kids? They were on the table, uh, but, but, they, but, they, but they are not there now. Una equivocación ahí, un error de escritura me acabo de detectar. Pero sí, sería, they were on the table, but they are not there now. Ya no están ahí, les. Okay, thank you. Thank you, that is correct. Thank you very much. Maria Magdalena in number six, the last one. The last one. Vamos con la última. Enrique. Number six. Yes, number six. Uh, you were how? You were how last night? You were? You were home last night? Where? Where I? Where? Where are you? Where are you? No preguntamos where are you porque en este ejercicio únicamente vamos a utilizar el verb be en pasado, más no en presente. Solamente es el pasado, afirmativa o negativa. Ah, bueno. Ajá. Sería. Entonces, si le pregunta al final dónde estaba, ¿qué le habrá dicho al principio? You. You were? You were. Yeah. Not exactly. Uh, no, you were. 
Mm -mm. O eran. No sé, dígame usted. <risa> Tiene que decidirse ahí por una. Where, eh, teacher? Where? Eh. No, sorry, it's not where. Entonces, where? Ajá. You weren't home last night. Anoche no estabas en la casa, le dice. You weren't home last night. ¿Dónde estabas tú? ¿Dónde estabas? Ajá, so le dice, where? Ahí dice, ahí dice where. Ajá. Where were you? Yeah, that's correct. You weren't home last night. Where were you? ¿Dónde estabas? Okay. All right, so um, we're going to do this. Let's do it now. Terminemos esto ya. Melissa is talking about her family. Melissa from South Korea is talking about her family. Choose the correct verb forms, then compare with a partner. You have to select only. My family and I, say we, were all born in South Korea. We, volunteers, este es el knowledge check 5.2. ¿Verdad? So, um, how about this one? Volunteers, please. We, Maria Lourdes. We weren't born in the U.S. In the U.S. Okay, thank you. That's correct. I... How about this? Maria de Lourdes again, okay? I was born in the city of Incheon, and my brother was born there too. My brother was born there too. Very good. Thank you, Maria de Lourdes. How about the next one? My parents, my parents, raise your hand if you know the answer, please. Parents, Maria Magdalena. Okay, my parents were for in Lincoln. They were born in the capital Seoul. They were born in the capital, so yeah, that's uh, that's correct. Okay, so thank you, thank you very much. Okay. Um, that's knowledge check five point two. Okay, si lo ven en la plataforma, quiero enseñar acá, pero no carga, así que lo siento, no les puedo mostrar. Pero bueno, es el ejercicio de la plataforma cinco punto dos. Por favor, vayan haciendo los ejercicios. Acuérdense que esta es la última semana de este nivel. Por lo tanto, se espera que ya para mitad de la semana ya esté resuelto todo, incluyendo el final test. Que desde luego lo vamos a ver también aquí en clase, ¿verdad? Vayan repasando, por favor, vayan aprendiéndose los verbos eh, irregulares en pasado y si pueden de una vez el past participle porque les va a servir muchísimo después. Maten dos paros de un tiro ahí. Yo se los recomiendo, se los recomiendo enormemente que lo hagan así, le va a facilitar la vida mucho más adelante porque ya se lo van a poder no van a tener que ir a la lista otra vez y aprenderse una nueva lista de verbos de una sola vez se lo pueden aprender um, that will be it today solamente eso sería hoy les voy a compartir este ejercicio también para que les quede de estudio por whatsapp y tomo asistencia quienes no me han contestado Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Está por acá Iván Alexis. Mónica Ivet Merino. Is Mónica Ivet here? No. Santos Mauricio Arias. Valle. Santos Mauricio. Ok. Vamos entonces. Um, everybody, thank you very much, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thanks. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher.